The world looks to China for signs of future economic growth, but its economy has seen a sharp slowdown. In the third quarter, China's economy grew 4.9% compared to a year earlier, slowing down from the previous quarter's 7.9% growth rate. It's another piece of bad news after Evergrande, China's most indebted property developer, has kept global markets on edge. So what do China's woes mean for the global economy? The Chinese government is dealing with a combination of headwinds. Policymakers pared back stimulus measures put in place during the pandemic last year. This came around the same time as a regulatory crackdown on the technology, private education, and real estate sectors. This worried investors. Another worry, concerns about Evergrande, whose troubles have rattled markets and raised questions about China's overall economic and financial health. Home sales and construction of new houses both fell sharply in September. There is also a growing energy crisis, driven by soaring coal prices and efforts to lower energy use, as well as disruptions to supply chains. The question is now whether these risks to the economy will crimp China's growth in the final months of the year. Beijing has made it clear that it wants to take on long festering issues in the economy, such as reining in household and corporate debt and pursuing ambitious climate goals. In 2020, China emerged as the only major world economy to report GDP growth amid the pandemic. The government is targeting annual GDP growth of 6% or more this year. Most economists are still confident that China will be able to achieve this. Some have begun to lower their forecasts.